What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute slow stretch. So grab a seat on your mat and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you are here with me. We're gonna rock through a slow stretch today. So all you're gonna need to do is have space around you. We're gonna start having a seat and rock through a couple movements, starting off on our seated position and then we'll flip around, but slow stretch today. So you're really gonna have time to breathe, get into those positions and feel your muscles relaxing after a long week or throughout a long week, we all need this. So I recommend doing it today and I recommend taking advantage of it three times this week as well. So it's part of your weekly regimen, okay? So I want you guys to feel amazing and feeling the benefits of getting more flexible and mobile are huge in so many ways, okay? So let's have a seat and go ahead and get started. All right, I want you to stick your feet right out in front of you. Like I said, slow stretch, so a big focus on breathing today, okay? I want you to sit nice and tall with your hands right on your thighs, and in three, two, one, just breathe in big and deep, and exhale. One more time, big breath in. Exhale and reach out towards your toes nice and slow. If you can get to your toes, I want you to pull them back towards you. If not, I just want you to reach out towards your feet. And grabbing onto your toes or your legs, wherever you are, I want you to push your back away from your feet. Okay, so open up your shoulder blades, relax those shoulders, feel the stretch in your mid and upper back. And relax. And let's go one more time, push your shoulder blades away, pull your back back. Three, two, one, and go ahead and release your feet. Now I want you to sit up tall, bring your left leg over top your right, okay? And then let's cross our opposite arm over, looking back and away, give me a nice tall spine, pushing your knee away so you feel a stretch here in your glutes, opening up your chest, rotating your spine a little bit. And again, just breathe. I'll tell you that a lot today, so. Anytime you catch yourself holding your breath or pushing so hard that you're shaking, just calm it down and breathe, okay? Three, two, one, and come back into the center. I want you to switch legs. Same thing, cross it over, flatten your foot out outside of your leg. Take your opposite hand, Throw it over your knee and look back over your shoulder. Good job, keep reaching over. And come back into the center, leaving this leg right on top of your leg. I want you to drop your knee Push right up towards your chest, okay? And then I want you to walk your chest as close to that top leg as you can. Again, feeling the stretch in this bent leg, you should feel it outside on your glutes and your hips. And each time you exhale today, I want you to stretch a little deeper. Great job. And next exhale, just switch right over. Stay in the same seated position. Just switch your legs right over. Again, walk up towards that leg. Push your chest towards your shin. Great job, keep breathing. And stretching deeper and deeper. You can push that knee away just a little bit. Beautiful job. Now I want you to straighten your bottom leg out front. 
Take this top leg and I just want you to tuck your foot right into your thigh, okay? Bending your chest right over top your bent leg. Just exhale and reach forward. Straight out from your chest. Slowly walk your hands over towards your straight leg. Keep that stretch going nice and deep, as low as you can. Spending a lot of times on the hamstring and lower back here. Sometimes we speed through these stretches and these big muscle groups need time to relax, to feel stretched, for us to hold the tension on our stretch and then let it go. Now I want you to walk your hands right over top of your bent leg, okay? Swinging over to the side, stretch down over top your bent leg. Good job, now go ahead and come on up and we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So let's just switch sides, straight leg first. You're gonna fold right over top of your foot, right in the middle here. Okay, so keeping your legs wide, keeping your legs open, you're just gonna fold right over top. You should feel this stretch mostly in your adductors or these inner thigh muscles here. As with any stretch, make sure you're pushing yourself to your flexibility limits. So if you can go a little lower, go a little lower. If you're stretching as far as you can right now, hold right there. Now go ahead and walk your hands over to your straight leg here. Reach out towards your foot or reach towards your ankle. Again, it always depends on your flexibility, so go to where you feel stretched. Hold there. And perfect, walk your hands back around right over top of your bent leg and fold right over top of your bent leg. Take your time with the transitions. Know that this whole stretch today is designed to give you time and give you space to breathe, to move, to help your body feel a little bit better. Hopefully a lot better. All right, let's open your legs up, both feet nice and wide, as wide as you can get them. Again, every level of flexibility is different. Every person that's showing up here for this workout today or this stretch is gonna be different in terms of flexibility. So I want you to open your legs where you feel you can comfortably sit in your sit bones. Okay, if you're here and you're kinda of crunched up and you can't get that wide, move your legs in a little closer to where you can sit and relax, okay? For me, it's out here, all right? So I'm gonna place my hands right in front of my thighs. You can do the same. And we're gonna roll the hips forward so I'm lowering my chest instead of rounding my back out. Again, inner thighs should really be stretching here. These are muscles we often look over. You're sitting at a desk all day. A lot of times they're, they're working to hold your legs together. If you cross your legs at work all day, they can become tight. And a lot of times that tightness will display in hips and back pain. Take your right arm, flatten it right here on your leg. Left arm shoots up and overhead towards your right toe. Give me a good arch with your side body here too. So right over here, I want you to feel all the stretching. Hips, obliques, into your ribs. Great job. Try to keep your chest nice and open for me. Slowly place your hands right out in front of you and we're gonna walk it over nice and slow to the other side. 
grip onto your foot with the same side or put your hand here. Arch the opposite arm up and over. Great job, great job. And slowly come back into the middle. The side that you just stretched to, I want you to bend that leg to a 90 degree angle, and then I want you to push your hips over towards that ankle or heel. Okay, so we're flipping over into kind of a pigeon pose. All right, nice tall spine first. Get your hips pointed towards the floor. And then when you get there, even if you're up tall here, that's fine too. If you can sit down low, sit down low. If you can walk lower, let's walk a little lower. And just relax your back foot back here. You don't have to be up on your toes or pushing or anything. Just relax it on the floor. I do want your hips and your chest squared up to where they're both facing the floor. Big deep breath in. Come back up to the top here with me. I want you to replace that leg with the opposite leg. Okay, I know this is a really good stretch. It's one of my favorite stretches, so I wanna spend some time here. Okay, I tried to be quiet and just let you breathe on that one. Let's recenter our hips and our chest, both of them facing the floor. Okay, and what I mean by that is that you're not open in this way. Your chest and your hips aren't open, but they're both rotated so that they're facing the ground. Okay, put your hands down if you need to. If you can, walk it a little lower. You might find that, find that one side is a little tighter, and that's okay. Just want you pushing into both sides to a level that you feel a good stretch. Sometimes it's hard for us to slow down, right? It's hard for us to take time for ourselves in fitness where we feel like we're not doing a super high intense workout or we're not running or we're not sprinting or doing burpees but this recovery period is just as important as your workout. Because if you think about it, you're always recovering, right? Outside of the 30 to 60 minutes of workouts a day that I give you guys, the rest of the time you're in recovery mode. Your body's trying to recover. So taking a day, a week, and just letting your body recover is only gonna help it. It's only gonna help your, your muscles grow, your body perform at a consistent level. Okay, and we talked a lot about this in the Sydney Squad this week about you know, training, overtraining, and recovery, and how important it is for you to enjoy the journey. All right, let's take both legs back, and I want you to drop your hips down here, flatten your feet out, and open your chest so that you're pulling your shoulder blades back and then down, okay? Make sure you're not shrugging up here. Pull your shoulder blades back and then draw them down like you're trying to stick them in your back pockets. And breathe. Good, lower back to the floor for just a second here. And I want you to pull your feet up and roll your ankles a little bit. Okay, mobility is your body's ability to move in all different directions. So I want you to rotate ankles in different direction circles. Nice and slow, you don't have to go fast. Point your toes, flex them down. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. There's so many different planes of motion that your body can move in. So we've gotta make sure, and I try to make sure in every workout that we do utilize all those planes. Up and down, side to side, front to back. Good job, let's go for three more seconds here. Three, two, one, and come back up into that press up position. 
Hopefully you got some blood flow to your feet there and your ankles and just relax them again. Again, make sure you're not shrugging. Make sure you're pushing your shoulders back and down. And good, pull your abs in for me and come up into a tabletop position. Okay, and I want you to just slowly roll your spine up towards the ceiling, starting with your tailbone. So we're gonna draw the abs in. As you lift your lower back, I want you to round it out and then drop it down again, okay? Shift your hips back a little, pull that tailbone up, pull it all the way up through your shoulder blades and relax. And just keep slowly moving. Okay, push your hips back, tuck your tail under like you're trying to, like you're a dog trying to tuck your tail under and then pull that forward and relax. Let's go one more time, pull the tailbone up and then I want you to stay up top here, pushing your hands into the ground and lifting your shoulder blades out and away and let's just go through some scapular rotations, okay? So push up, open your shoulder blades and then I want you to completely relax and let them fall together. Okay, push open, shoulder blades are open, and then let your chest fall, shoulder blades come back together. Just let your head kind of relax. You don't have to look up or crane up, just let your head relax and move your shoulder blades back and forth. And as you push up, you can kind of squeeze your chest muscles together to allow your back muscles to relax. And then as you go down, shoulder blades are kind of drawing in together. Let's do one more. And let it fall. Great job. Let's widen your knees out, keeping your toes together. And I want you to sit back, moving side to side with your hips. So keep your hands out straight. Push over side to side. There you go. Just loosening your hips up a little bit. Kind of taking your, your chest or your ribs from one leg to the other. back into the middle, back up to tabletop position. And kick your left leg out front for me, keeping it bent. And as you press it into the ground, I want you to raise up so you're on your right knee, left foot, okay? Same side that's out front. I want you to place that hand on the hip. Take the opposite hand and stretch it over, okay? So from the front, looks like this. Stretching up and over top. Again, getting a little bit into the core here into your obliques. Great job, come back in. Big deep breath, let's go one more time on that side. Arm comes up beside the ear, reach and arch it over. Good, come back down and I want you to place this side hand onto the mat, okay? And straighten that front leg out to the side. So we're going over top of the body now. Good, and now come back into the center, straighten your front leg out right out in front of you and lean over your leg. Okay, just trying to give you some different views here. So that left leg, the one that we started with originally here is now just straightened out in front of your body.
perfect. Let's go ahead and switch legs and we're gonna run through that same rotation. Right leg out front. Stretching your left hand up and over top. Good job. Reach, reach, reach. And good, let's take that left hand, put it right down on the floor beside of you. Straighten the opposite leg out and stretching over the body now. Big deep breath. And now bring that right leg out front and just straighten it out. We're leaning right over top here. Relax your head and breathe. Good job. Three, two, one. And I want you to come back in, place your hands right under your foot and have a seat. All right, just a little mental check-in before you go. You can bring your feet in together. I want you just to relax for one more minute here. Big deep breath in, exhale. Close your eyes for me. And imagine this week going incredible, okay? Whatever incredible looks like for you. Imagine this week, this day, just going fantastic, okay? What does that look like for you? Does it look like everything is organized? Does it look like everything is planned? It's prepared, you have your laundry done, you have your food prepped, you have your house clean. What does that look like for you? And I want you to take some time today, as soon as you're done with this stretcher, as soon as time opens up for you, to do a couple things that gets you closer to that fantastic week, okay? Do you need to do some dishes? Do you need to get the laundry started? Do you need to just grab the broom and start sweeping and picking things up? What do you need to do? Get your workout clothes laid out. Get your time scheduled to where you are always a priority, okay? Whatever that fantastic week looks like for you, do a couple things right after this to set yourself up to make that happen, okay? For me, it's gonna be organization, it's gonna be getting things prepared, like my food, making sure I have the groceries to cook, getting my cooking out of the way before the week starts, and also scheduling that time with myself to make sure I know my workouts are things where I can show up and give my best. My workout clothes are laid out, I know the workouts that are coming, okay? So that's something you guys don't have to think about, you have to do have to schedule that time though, right? So make sure you take that time for yourself the most incredible week, the most incredible day could happen today. And if you can do a couple things to get you closer to that happening right now, I wanna push you to do that. I want you to take that step to make sure you're set up for a fantastic week because we are always on a journey to figuring out how to make ourselves the best selves possible. And I want you to do a couple things to push you closer to make that journey a little bit sweeter for you this week, okay? So comment below and let me know what action steps you are taking. For me, I'm gonna put laundry and I'm gonna put grocery shopping. Okay, comment below and let me know what you are doing to set yourself up for a fantastic day or week. And I will see you here tomorrow for your workout. Make sure before you head out today, you like this video if you finish the stretch with me and you feel so much better. Subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification right over there so I can shoot you your alert when your workout is ready for you tomorrow. And I will see you then. Love you guys.